Son of a bitch. Ah. Uh, it's annoying. It does it sometimes. Hang on. It's annoying. I gotta reset it. Hang on. Be right back. Hang on. Shall we play a game? That's annoying. That's so annoying. I te I usually test it too, right before. Because the way I have it set, like certain when it jumps to certain scenes, you know, it'll it'll unmute and mute stuff. And it usually uh but because I had to do this one a different way, this game for whatever reason doesn't doesn't work with um the Wave XLR stuff or the software for it. It doesn't, it doesn't work as smooth, but whatever. So let me see. Yeah, see, that's better. You suck. What the hell, dude? A shooting at the 111 Club, 6232 Hollywood Boulevard. Sounds like a homicide beef. Two of the dead guys caught in the crossfire were carrying army surplus morphine. Get over there before homicide tramples all over the place. We already cleared that up. Judge in Pasadena took the big sleep yesterday. He had a personal stash of 20 cigarettes. Appears we didn't get all of it. I'm now. So, hey, Bim. <clears throat> hey, Bim. So, so I guess, Gray, when I get on later, you're going to just show me how to get my stuff real quick. God damn it. Get my tanes. Can't seem to put this morphine to sleep. A dead judge. Where's Not my? Good. Everyone has their vices. Even you, Phelps. That See, took a swipe so I change. Put him down with my sap. I think it, I think it's it's better. You don't see the shadow. I moved this light down a little bit by the camera, and so it was way up. So there was that shadow going across. I think it's better now. It's not a shadow along my line, my eye lines as much anyway. It doesn't seem it. Anyway. I didn't come to California to be a secretary. Let's go solve a crime. Exit. 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 The thing was, he was a real nice guy. I felt lousy collaring him. Are you already getting... Hey, Curry, are you already getting to, um... The place? <laughs> Wait. You're hurting me. I don't know. I don't think I. Oh, I don't have one. Some kind of trouble? I need to get a whistle, huh? I don't have a whistle. Oh, I need to sit down. He'll never find out. All right, Bim. Um. So you're just you're just doing taming stuff. Right now, you're not you're not going to. Um, this is what I'm doing. You can drive. Get them to auto. Do them to fast travel. So you're not you're not worrying about. Oh well, no, you can't really. Them, okay, yeah. Uh, you're still in that same. 
Oh, wait. Still in the same area waiting for us. Go ahead with the further. Got you. Detective Phelps, LAPD. What's going on here? This joker was trying to tail one of our patrons. Inside. I'm a reporter, you idiot. I'm doing a feature for the examiner, and that patron I was following is a red under investigation by the feds. Where is he now? Parking lot. His is the blue Talbot. Say, how about an exclusive when you bring him back? Shove off. You won't be filing your story today. I'll check this out. A red, huh? Sneaky bastard. Oh, I'm gonna enjoy this. Wait, what? Why did they have me going outside? Wait. Was I supposed to draw? Look at these cars. Oh, these are some nice cars. Oh, look at there. Orange. Get the oh there it is right there too. LAPD, sir. Can I have a word? Alright. Well that's an admission of guilt if I ever saw one. He's not getting away that easily. Holy shit, dude. Let's just run out in front of the Step car. On it, huh? Just give me a little closer. Oh, whoa. Keep it steady and I'll try to bust his tires. Dude, this game is so, it's like a GTA with the no, keyboard and mouse, man. Closer. Oh. I uh, probably should have chased him with the car. Why are you What the hell are you Hands Oh. Your head. <laughs> I was about to let that dude get away. He did the old sneaking one. Hiding in the car. Stand. My politics are nobody's goddamn business but my own. It threw me off a little bit. I was thinking this was a major one. This was just a small crime one. So I was thinking this was, I forgot it was just a quick one. Look at that. I think I got, is that right down the road? Look at that. It is right down the road. All right, guess I'll just go ahead and drive that one. Dude, this driving this, man, is so... It's like GTA uh, driving. Actually, GTA driving with the keyboard and mouse is rough. It's still not as bad as this one. This one's bad. About time. This wind will be like a tornado, Phelps. Parker's got a puritanical streak. You never know we'll get swept up in a thing like that. Welcome back, Boom. Mm. Homicide guys are already inside. Bukowski, Phelps, back again. We're here about the morphine. Over by the bandstand. You can see what's left of the owner, Eddie McGoldrick, 26, former Marine. I know Eddie McGoldrick. He was a non-com in my old unit. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Cole. The waitress said he recently came into some money and bought the club. Who were the other Vicks? Two musicians, Biddleston and Bo. And get this, they used to be in a four-piece, but the trombone player and the drummer OD'd. Don't tell me. Lamont and Tyree? We've met the rest of the band. Now they're a no-piece. <laughs> Do you mind if we take a look around? Be my guest. You might want a word with the hostess, too. I'll keep her company until you're ready. OK. 
Okay. Must have pumped a dozen rounds into him. Certainly sends a message. Come on, come on. Okay. Again. All right. Never the same, are they? When you're ready to have a civil conversation, we can try again. I don't think this is going to lead to anything. This is a big place to let me through. I, I just want to took a look, is all. Check the bottle. I don't think that. Here we go. Well maintained, custom case. Someone cared for this instrument. Just what I think I've seen it all. What's that click? Oh. Find anything interesting? Neat trick. The case must have cost more than the trumpet. We should follow up on the musician angle. No. He kept his stash close at hand. Just those two, I think. Yep. packs to a carton, a hundred cartons or more. Looks like a couple of months' supply. These look brand new. Never fired. They haven't been degreased yet. 
we could check on the serial numbers. Is this guy hunting for bear? Look at these things. They're BARs. You get the odd guy who sneaks one of them home from the war. How did he get three of them? Um, okay. You see something down there? What are you down, what are you down there for, really? Um, okay. All right, start over here. source or is this coming from what's left in circulation army surplus morphine army surplus weapons army surplus valors sound familiar we should get back to the station and check the details of what exactly was lifted from that ship another day another dollar so nothing was on that okay there, I already checked that. I already checked that. Check that. 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 All right. Okay. That's the clues. All right, here we go. Ma'am, I'm Detective Phelps, Administrative Vice Squad. Welcome to the 111 Club, Detective. Feels like I've had half the LAPD in here today already. Did he? I don't know. I didn't see. All right. <clears throat> <clears throat> I got to get in the zone, Gree. All right. Got to put my detective cap on. Any idea who did the shooting? No idea. It was my day off. If I had been here, honey, I'd be full of holes just like the others. Uh, yeah, I don't have the information, so I think she, but I do doubt her. Hmm. You want to level with me, miss, before we start taking an interest in you? This place has been on the slide for years. Eddie turns up, buys the club, then we start getting visits from tough guys. Next thing you know, we have the St. Valentine's Day massacre. Are you getting the picture? All right, so let's go with knowledge of McGoldrick. McGoldrick. Tell us about Eddie. Eddie didn't know a thing about running a nightclub. He came into some money and waltzed in and bought the place. The previous owner thought all his Christmases had come at once. That looks pretty solid as a true. I mean, I, ain't got, I mean, what? Do I have anything that would argue that? Anything? Unless, so what's the log? This place was, um, tell us about Eddie. Eddie didn't know a thing about running a nightclub. He came to the running walks in and bought the place. The previous one at the. Oh. I'm going to go true. Truth. 
She doesn't look like she looks like, you know, pretty solid. Where do you think you got the money? My guess was that he was selling the sort of quality product that you don't need to advertise. Thank you for your help, ma'am. Eddie was in over his head, but he was a decent boss. Roy? Roy, where you at? Roy? Any ideas? Back to the station. We need to speak to someone on the robbery detail. Yeah, okay. Thank you, Bim. Thank you. Never the same, are they? Like a, like a Borkowski. Like, I think he's trying to hit on her. I think I see a body. And that Borkowski? I knew it wasn't safe around here did anymore. I, did I already go in here? Wait, I didn't even go in here. I didn't even... I didn't even go in here. Bad luck, Eddie. Okinawa couldn't kill you, but knowing the wrong people in this city. The... Were they trying to snake one past? Because the music stopped. Hmm. Oh, I got you. Okay. So the music's like, what threw me off is because it was, it was marked. So I thought I'd missed, messed up on something. Oop. Wait, what's the safe? They didn't even try to crack the safe. This seems like, though, it would be important. <laughs> like, this should be stuff I should be jotting down in my notes, maybe. Okay, all right. All right, Roy, let's go. All right, ma'am. I'll see you on the flip side. So you're the um, this family born without a job. It's got to be something big, right? What? There they go, Bim. Did you hear what she said? Already rude. She said, so you were the first one in your family born without a tail. <laughs> oh, man, they were so rude. You drive. I need to go over the case notes. Uh, so he said... Where to? I wonder if... I wonder if I should go... He says mention of going to the police station. Maybe we should go to the police station first. And maybe blue room afterwards. It wasn't very nice. However... They have some really pretty good insults, though. Well, I mean, not for nowadays, but should I went should I went to the blue room first? This looks kind of major. Hey, what's going on? That fucking rat Stoker has gone public about Brenda. Who is Brenda? Brenda is LA's most famous madam. And everyone knows it? Of course everyone knows. Brenda pays her way. Are we cops or a collection agency? Ors have been around since the Bible. Our job is to keep it off the street so Joe Citizen and his wife can stroll around unmolested. Then we should change the law. Are you out of your mind? Every politician in America is against prostitution. Except when they're using them. So where does Stoker come in? He objects to the LAPD and the administration taking its cut. Is everyone in on this? 
Yeah, and that's the problem. From a little acorn does a large tree grow. He could bring the whole thing crashing down on us. Aren't you supposed to be working the... Sir, do you know which robbery detectives are working the army surplus theft from the Coolidge? Caldwell and McManus. I saw Caldwell in the squad room not long ago if you want to speak to him. Thank you, sir. We'll do that. This way. Am I in my... Am I in my, um... Hollywood suit? This is my Hollywood suit, isn't it? Let me see if I'm in my Hollywood suit. Yeah, that's it. Sunset Strip. I gotta play the, the part. Was, he was a real nice Eric. guy. I felt you got a minute? Hollering him. Sure, Cole, any time. You've been working the docks robbery on the SS Coolridge? Yeah, that's right. So how do you see it? Inside job. Either the guys working the wharves or some of the guys on the ship. What else was taken apart from the morphine? Case of BARs, case of Thompsons. Afraid of Valor Smokes. Homicide just recovered okay. three BARs and a mountain of cigarettes at a shooting at the 111 Club. No kidding. I better get over there. Do you have a copy of the manifest? Yeah. Here it is. That so, how do we connect the docks robbery to the mess at the 111 Club? All right. <laughs> Yeah, I'm thinking of moving up to a 45. Uh, I don't want to stop him with one round. Do we... Enough to arm three companies. Here's our backroom arsenal from the 111 Club. I guess, I guess, um... This is the crate we recovered. <laughs> I ta they may... Are they? Or does the game like feeling bad for me because I messed up the Winston Churchill one? They're like, eh, you click every name in the book on the Winston Churchill one. What we're gonna do is we're gonna circle. We're gonna get these and we're gonna circle a red, do a red circle around it. How's that? Half a million cigarettes loose on the streets of L.A. I want to make comments. Oh, these you guys are from my old unit. They must have finally shipped home. Kelso, Sheldon. McGoldrick. McGoldrick was on the boat? Sure, we checked him out. McGoldrick bought the 111 Club, Harry. His brains are all over the bar. Looks like whoever stole the dope is getting muscled. By whom? Dragner or Cohen. They control the hop. Thanks, Harry. Stay in touch on this. All right. So, I guess probably the blue room? Bust in there and find the goddamn evidence. Right? Advice? All these junkies seem to get a free pass to the blue room. Yeah. How about we pay a visit? That's what I'm thinking. That's what I'm thinking. Poor little twist. I want to. I wonder. I'm telling you, it'll never stick, and you'll get roasted. Wait, did? Oh wait, I went too far down, didn't I? God damn it. <laughs> Gave his wife a Look at. Ain't even. I knew it wasn't safe around here anymore. Blue room. Oh, that's right down the street. You know the way. You can drive. Fine. Where are we headed? Wait, was I? He's only a rider. He can't really help me. Was I supposed to look at something else on here? Can you drive to this one? Where are we going? While they're driving, I'm going to refill my well, coffee. I'll be right back there. McGoldrick? Well enough. He was in my unit. That's some cruel irony. You survive the war, then get blown to pieces back home. It happens more than you'd think. Young guys trying to adjust to normal life. 
Getting mixed up in the wrong crowds. The kid had just bought a nightclub. I'd say he got mixed up in the right crowds. Until someone filled him full of holes. You don't come into that kind of money that quickly without pissing a few people off. I don't need this. Who's saying something bad to us? I don't need this. Rude. <laughs> All right. Boy, let's take it seem better days. One nice thing about egotists, they don't talk about other people. Thanks. Take a break, boys. We would like them to stay, Miss Lichtman. We're making inquiries into the recent deaths of four musicians. Since when have the police cared about dead black men? Good point. We don't. What we care about is two tons of army surplus morphine showing up on the street. If you care about working in this town, you better give me something on Biddleston and Bo. Or their knucklehead buddies, Tyree and Lamont. And this is your idea of making inquiries on the stone I've told you a thousand times about speaking that German gibberish at me, Elsa. Roy! How about you get a drink while I see to this? Will you sit down? Why antagonize him, Elsa? You know what he's capable of. Ask your questions, head officer. We have work to do. Okay, here we go. I think this is going to be a rough one for some reason. I just have a feeling. I think she's going to be tough for questioning. People are dying of overdoses. If you know anything about it, you need to tell me. I can't help you. A lot of cats are into the thing. There's nothing special about your boys. People are dying over over. He came in hot. Then he was like loud and mean. People are dying over over. Yeah. Mm, okay. I don't think that's enough, but I do doubt it. See, see her left eyebrow keeps going up. I think she's, I think she's BSing me. You can do this the easy way with me, or I can call my partner back over. I can assure you he's a lot less sensitive. You think your threats frighten me? Black man don't supply nothing. You think there's a black man in this town holding on to two tons of morphine? He'd be dead in a minute. White man supplies, black man buys. Okay. Before I... This might be... Depending on the question. I'm not Do sure. You wish to God dang it. I hate when I do that. My partner mentioned a couple of names. You recognize them? I have no idea what you're talking about. Of course. Look at this. She's about to cry. He mentioned a few names. Still in balance. Play on that. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna do a doubt.
The only way you're going to get rid of me is to give me an answer. I knew Cornell. We worked together a few years ago. He loved the music, but the music didn't love him. What does that mean? It means that he just wasn't that good. He was a sad, lonely cat. Boys, take five minutes, please. I need to have a private word with you, officer. Why do you ask people to risk talking about a subject that could have them jailed? Drugs are against the law, Elsa. And you're so full of courage, you have never felt ashamed. This is getting us nowhere. Do you think you'll win your war against narcotics? It's not my war. It's against the law. My job is to prosecute the laws of this city. Do you think you can stop people from needing drugs, detective? I'm asking the questions here. Then why do you come to me with your stupid questions? You know who controls the drugs in this city. It's not enough to just survive, Elsa. You have to try and make the world a better place. Brave words and very noble. But... Words are just words, Cole Phelps. She's right. We need to pay a visit to the mixer. Cohen, do you know where to find him? This time of day, you'll find him holding court at the Macambo. He can wait. There's something I need to be sure of. Give me till tomorrow morning. Don't do anything I wouldn't do, partner. What? Oh shit, I gotta tell him. Oh god. This game and the tells. I'm blocking your driveway. Don't worry. I'll be all right. Oh. Oh, what Again, the? I risk losing the trail. Too much slack. Gotta get closer. Oh, jeez. That scared me. I thought I didn't want it to fail. Wait, he's, wait, he's married. What is he doing? <laughs> oh.
Uh oh. Roy has blackmail material to tell his wife. This is the PD. We're looking for Mayor Cohen. I believe he has lunch here. There's not going to be any trouble, is there? Which table? Number three, if you'll follow me. That cherry pie was delish. <laughs> Boy, let's take Sir, it some better days. Mr. Cohen's table call. is this that way. That cherry pie was delish. Uh, I, I, I got a, a joke for you. What's the dirtiest form animals? Is this what? Brown chicken, brown cow. <laughs> it is so stupid. Me, Joe's buddy. He's nice. LAPD. We have some questions. Hi, regarding... Mickey. How's it hanging? Fine. Just fine, Roy. I see you brought Iga Beaver along. Hope he's not going to put the shakes on me again. Cole Phelps. I'll bring you Mickey on. Cohen. Good afternoon. <laughs> hey, great. Doesn't that guy look familiar? Aren't you a little green for this kid? Me, Johnny Stompanato, Cole. I mean, he has the biggest schlong in Hollywood and the smallest gun. Or maybe that's the other way around. I can never quite remember. You're a funny guy, Roy. Haven't I always said what a funny that guy one. Roy is? And how much fun it would be to get together with him sometime. Poor Johnny. He's the dark, sensitive type. He's a serviceman too, Cole. Johnny was in Okinawa. You were in the crotch? Sixth Marines. The lieutenant who won the Silver Star up on Sugarloaf. I've heard of you. Something like that. All right, have we finished flirting? You got something to discuss, Roy? Are you going to stand around beating the meat while my lunch gets cold? We have some questions. Do I need my lawyer? Oh. All right. Got to get ready. This one, I think, is going to be... Uh, I know I've said this before, but I do think this one's going to be a rough one. Okay, Finkelstein's drug operation. Your brother-in-law, Lenny Finkelstein, was selling stolen morphine. He had one-third of the shipment. Old news, kid. I don't know anything about what Lenny was up to. Okay, so, I'll, so I think he's lying. I'll bring you coffee. Okay, so I don't know. I don't think I, so. I'm gonna go ahead and doubt him. Right. <laughs> Wait, did, is that what he said? All <laughs> right, Roy beats his mate. So I'm supposed to believe that you don't know what happened to the rest of the shipment. Lenny, God rest his soul, was a moron. He was family, though, and I haven't made a beef about that, so count yourself lucky, kid. The H is a filthy habit, and I don't condone it. The simple solution would be to have all the dope fiends put down. So you don't know where he got the morphine? Kid, ask a question you might get an answer to. Okay, let's get ready. We believe there's a link between a group of Marines and the morphine stolen from the SS Coolridge. One of those Marines was shot to death in a club last night. I wouldn't know anything about that. Uh, okay, so he's lying. But... Would it be tied to the manifest? The bad thing about this, man, I'm going into game mode, and the game mode in me is saying... I've guessed I'm right, and none of them have been lying with evidence yet, and this is making me feel like this needs to be it. So I'm almost playing the odds of the game and not I'm letting that get in the way of my thinking. I'm paralysis from analysis. The go old golfing thing that I used to always do. I think your bright spark might have blown a fuse, Roy. Hey, you still there, kid? Okay, 
I, I think I'm gonna do La. I think you're lying. I think the 111 Club was your men. I think you're trying to send a message. I'll send you a message, kid. You better have some proof that that was one of mine, or else you better have health insurance, huh? Okay, so that really doesn't tie into what I thought he was going to ask or say. It's after you guys are starting to look into for those scores, it's a, a draw. Maybe the. Oh, jeez. I think your bright spark might have blown a fuse, Roy. Hey, you still there, kid? Hmm. <laughs> I'm I'm backing out. I'm backing out, and I'm gonna. It's nothing personal. I'm just doing my job. You understand that? I'm gonna doubt. So you haven't Boom. Anything about what happened at the 111 Club. What can I say, kid? I'm shocked that in the land of opportunity, Uncle Sam's finest feel the need to resort to crime. It's a dangerous business. I can attest to that. I'd recommend they get out of the life quickly. A few Negroes saying goodbye on the sidewalk will never make the papers, Mickey. But we had a judge in Pasadena say adios the other day. Prominent white people popping their clogs makes everyone nervous. You know dope has never been my thing, Roy. It's always been for Schmendricks, like uh, Jack D and Jimmy Utley. But uh, I'll ask around and I'll get back to you. Hey, you boys want some lunch? How about a drink? We'll take a rain check on that. Come on, Cole, we're leaving. We have to cut that dope. It looks bad with people dying. We have to get the rest of it. There's no way of watering down the stuff in those little packages. We have to put the squeeze on those guys and get the rest of it. They don't seem to type the fright that easy. We'll see. Detectives, KGPL is going crazy. Shots fired at 1384 North Bronson. Some guy with an automatic spraying a Hollywood bus. They want every car. Go. Let's go. You think those bikes boys get any on the side? Come on, Roy. I say we bust in there and find the goddamn evidence. You're behind the wheel. Do we know where we're going? The bus shooting. All units, officers need help at 1384 North Bronson. 1384 North Bronson, shots fired. Any units to handle, identify. Code 3. Oh. Yeah, get down, y'all. That was not even close to where my cursor was. I took his hat off, though. You're covered, Phelps. 
So how am I supposed to get up there? Say, I didn't... Whoa! Did Look at that, huh? Hail to the king, baby. What was what was weird, right, is I was trying to get around to this section, but um, I thought they wanted me to go because it automatically um, whatever it worked. Nothing. Oh, I know what that, that rifle is going to be. Also, this Home number and restaurant table. The bus route. So someone was on that bus that he was trying to get. And this, yeah, and this is going to be one of the army rifles. It's one of the BARs. It was the it was the magic bullet. It is head. He's one of the guys from the ship. His name was on the manifest. Looks like McGoldrick wasn't the only one to get a message. Hey, Alvaro. Hey, Lieutenant. He's just a plain detective now, Chico. Who's the jughead? It's my partner, Roy Earl. We just want to find out what happened. What happened is that someone took a shot at my bus. And the cops turn up and start treating me like I'm some sort of pachuco punk. My people have been in California for over 300 years. Very fucking admirable, Felix. Well, it is some questioning going on in here. I guess that's what it was. <laughs> the smart rounds. It looks a lot of times you'll see me look up here. That's my OBS. It actually looks better on that screen than it does on this one because this game doesn't have it in widescreen. So everything's stretched out on this one. So everything looks good and proper and portionate. You hear anything anyway. about the big heist on the Cool Ridge? Yeah, I heard about it. So what happened? Not much. Uh, the cops came and interviewed me and all the other guys on the ship. Um, I don't think I, I, I'm just what's that man why well, don't I have any insp all right Poof. let me see what he says again Not much. So it's not really even asking. He's like answering what the cops did. And I don't think that's what Cole is supposed to be asking, but whatever. I'm going to do a doubt. Mm. 
I was down at the 111 Club this morning, waiting for the medical examiner to scrape Eddie McGoldrick's brains off the bar. You want to tell me anything about that? I heard that Eddie came into some money. Too bad he didn't keep a low profile. It was a tough break to get through Okinawa and then have to buy it back home. Um... Motive for shooting. Who's shooting at you, Felix? He goes zero to Nani. Who do I know? Um... So. I'm a doubt. I'm gonna doubt it again. Felix, we didn't nope. go shit. Okinawa to come back to this on our streets. I've got the LAPD uh, to keep me safe, right? Me and all my people. We'll be in touch, Felix. Oh well. That Jack is in LA. I saw his name on the manifest. He's been here a couple of months. Sure glad to see you got over your wound, Lieutenant. I mean, Detective. Pretty cool Damn customer. It. He's been under fire before. You buying a story? Not for a minute. Oh. Oh, see, I, I wish you could get more inspiration. It's like... Cole Phelps, badge 1247. How can I help, Detective? I need an address on a Jack Kelso. Just a second. Jack Kelso, apartment 4, 1408 North El Centro Avenue, Hollywood. Thank you. What now? All your war buddies. How cozy. We need to go embrace Jack Kelso. Okay. All right, Cree. Hey, Pixel. What's happening? Will this make oh, I'm glad. I'm glad you. Uh. You're the reason. Can you drive to this one? Drop by right, on. Right and Bim had already left on the last stream. I'll be honest with y'all. Th that la that vice case on the pre previous stream, I kind of regret not paying more attention to that one because that one was that one was like a really good one, and I was thinking it was going to be like the previous vice ones, and it wasn't. It was like a lot more detailed and. There was like little twists and turns in, uh, in it that I didn't pay attention. I, I wish I would have paid more attention to it. That was the only bad thing about it. It, it seemed like it would have been a really good one to like really dig into, and I didn't. I treated it kind of like the previous Vice cases. But will this make it into the paper? So, with that in mind, I'm starting. I started this one with. Jack was a company sergeant. Giving it a little more respect like the last one. Like this. We brace him and drag him downtown. It won't work. He's a tough customer. Hello, Jack. This is Detective Roy Earl. Hello, Cole. We would like a word. Would you like to come inside? 
Actually, we'd prefer if you'd come downtown with us. Do you mind? Do I have any choice? No. You don't. Are you going to tell me what this is all about? It would be better for all of us if we discussed it at the station. Bad move, Cole. How have you been, Jack? Cut the crap. You pick me up in front of my apartment like a common criminal and then expect small talk? Fuck you. Before I start doing this one, I'll be right back. I'm gonna, um, I need to use the restroom and I'm gonna get a refill my coffee again. But yeah, I think the the previous one with the uh, no. the uh, burglar team and stuff like that, that one I just wish I would have paid more attention. And the whole uh, doctor being in love and then jumping out the window, and it, it was like, I was like, damn. Because all the previous vice cases up to that point have been kind of shallow. They were real quick, you know? They're like, I had them, I was done with their case like in a little over an hour. That one was, you know, more like the previous, my previous streams where it was like, uh, it was two hours in and I was still working the case type thing. You okay, Phil? Or close to it, but. Standing around, doing nothing. I'll be right back, y'all. One second. You okay, Phelps? Standing around, doing nothing? You look shell-shocked. You really think I'm gonna kill you? That's correct. You're gonna release me now? That's right. It doesn't matter we're not building in this city anymore. Isn't there anything else you can do? I'm not gonna get out of here tonight. No way! You okay, Phelps? Standing around, doing nothing? You look shell shocked. Okay, here we go. Okay, I know I've said it on the previous four people I talked about. I was doing pretty good on the last one. But this one, I think, former Marine OCS training driver, Officer Officer Candidate School, training dropout. Okay, wait. Oh, whatever. I am, by the way, Bim, I, I haven't done it yet, but I did go on YouTube to see if I could uh, get the welcome back. You uh, okay, Phelps? Standing around? Doing the, the, the welcome back, uh, like, little jingle thing. So if you were to put that, like, you know, make it where exclamation welcome back, I have that little graphic come up on my webcam. Instead of saying that welcome back, it played the little welcome back, welcome back. Uh, instead of saying Carter, it'd say JSOD. Anyway, just like I do all my other stuff. <laughs> but I was seeing if I could actually find it, which I, I mean, I knew I probably could, but now I have to edit something, like edit the stuff. And, well, I got to find time to do it, basically. Do you know that there's a gang war going on in L.A. trying to recover that stolen morphine? 
That has nothing to do with me. Okay. Nothing to do with him. I'm sure it would be gripping to hear more of your life story, boys, but the truth is, I don't give a fuck. You were on the boat, Kelso. What happened? Do you really think a bunch of Marines could muscle in on the dope rackets in this town? Between the vice squad and the mob, I hear it's pretty sewn up. You'd better watch your mouth. Did you know that Eddie McGoldrick recently came into money and bought a nightclub? No, I didn't know that. I think he's, I think he's telling the truth. Ugh. And you didn't know that some mobsters blew his brains out last night. No, I didn't. You heard that a crate of VARs went missing? No, I didn't. Can you identify the man in this picture? You trying to shut me down? Why'd it cut to him? Why'd it cut to me? And then back to him. And then back to me. And then back to him. Um I think he's telling the truth again. Heard the crate of bars went missing. No, I didn't. I think he's telling the truth on this one. If it's not, then I'm getting fooled. I mean, I'm going off his facial thing. I mean, he is blinking a little bit, but nothing else. I saw Felix Alvaro today. Good. How was he? A little pale. One of Mickey Cohen's goons had emptied about 60 BAR rounds into the bus he was driving. A public bus in the middle of Hollywood. Are you going to tell me what's going on? Or do more innocent people have to die? Yeah, and what's in it for you, Cole? Newspapers? More glory? Another promotion? Another medal at the expense of men who fought for their country? Count me out. Okay. Cool Ridge robbery. What do you know about the Army surplus robbery from the Cool Ridge Jack? What I know is that on three separate occasions, you would have been dead if it weren't for me. I don't know anything about the robbery. Okay. Well, I think he's... I think he's lying, but I don't, or I don't think he's telling the truth, but I don't know. Does it, does it hurt? So he says, uh, what I know is in separate occasions you have been dead. He's not even talking about that. I don't know anything about the robbery. Let me see what he says. I'm going to say la. I don't believe you, Jack. You were there. You were either involved or you know who is. You calling me a liar, Cole? 
I hope you have something to back that up. I won't let you hide behind your rank any longer. I don't really have anything. I don't think I'm missing something. I don't think I have anything. I'm going to go with the Dow. People are dying because morphine intended to help servicemen is being used on the street. Now we have guys from our old unit being killed by mobsters. We can put two and two together, Jack. Gratitude isn't a concept that has much effect on you, is it, Cole? Answer the question, Jack. Let's get this over with. I was interviewed when the robbery took place. I don't have anything further to add. Jack, we just want information. Bullshit, Cole. Did you seriously believe that dragging me down here would get me to give up my own guys? You call yourself a Marine? Trying to make a name for yourself with this shit heel? Look at this chump with this $200 suit and $2,000 car. Oh, 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 oh. Act is really impressive. I like you, Jack. I'd like to make you for this. I really would. I'm going to be working on it and keeping an eye on you. You can go now. Shooting Robert Steiner, 6780 West Sunset Boulevard. The victim is a Chris Majewski. Another name from the manifest? Right, Bim? That that was friends of yours are gonna get plugged today. That was like um That was like Columbo style uh detective work. Talk about tension. That was like being trapped in an elevator with a married couple who can't decide whether they love each other or hate each other. We go back a long way. You went too easy on him. Next time, you leave it to me. I know how to handle that smug son of a bitch. You don't. Jack will never give up his own men. He just walked up and shot the man. Uh -oh. Two of them officers. There we go. They went that way. Go on, get after him. Oh, jeez. The turning radius on these old cars are ridiculous. I'm used to my small cars. Can't take the shot from here, Cole. Hit him, Cole. Spin him out. Let's see how fast he runs on bare rims. Hit him. Clear this asshole off the road. I can't hit a target that isn't there. Oh! Holy cowboy! I fish tail on that one. Watch out, man. Don't get out in the middle of the road when cars are flying by you, man. Oh. Wait, where'd they go? Oh. God, watch out. You need to move. Oh, whoa, whoa, what the... Right? It's like, wait, what? Oh, the sirens are coming from over there. Okay, I'll run over there. There's speeding cars behind me. I'll turn around and run toward you. I got you. I know what you mean. I know what you mean. Um... Get some names here. An LAPD file. We have a traitor in our midst. All of the names on the list have a hit team assigned to them. Huh. 
No, 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 no. Okay, 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 okay. Come on. I, think, I, I mean, I don't really think I need to look at this stuff, but. Let's, let's sign. We need to get to those guys fast, otherwise there'll be no case. Is he going to say anything? He's not going to say anything. They already know that it's tied to that guy. Or. The stolen. I'm just going to walk in that guy's blood. Okay, I guess there's nothing to see here. to look at damage limitation we can't allow that strumpet brenda allen to bring down the whole administration we've got to put a lid on the press can someone talk to harry over at the times it's too late the times would look ridiculous if we dropped the story now who is this stoker stoker's a lily white nothing that will fix this in the short term my law and order credentials are disappearing as we speak can we get brenda to leave town yes we can but she won't go quietly brenda has extensive records can she at least lay low that's already been taken care of. Mayor? District Attorney? Who is this guy? And what does he want, Horrell? The name's Roy Earl. Detective. Administrative Vice. Aren't you one of the clowns that got us into this mess? Oh, I think that the orders regarding Brenda come down, not up, Mayor. I have a human interest story. It involves a certain LAPD cop. A hero from the war who has let his beautiful wife and kids down, who has betrayed America for a German junkie whore. Oh, shit. Who has abandoned his pledge to the LAPD and his commitment to the public, we all serve. It'd be all over the papers by tomorrow, and you would be off the hook. So what do you want in return, Roy? The fingering a fellow officer. I knew it. What I say, remember? I said, "What is he going to blackmail us on that?" You no good. I've looked into the future, Roy. I, I, My Earl, LAPD. <coughs> oh, no good. No good, Roy Earl just followed. Chat. Look who just followed. Roy Earl. Uh, backstabbing traitor. Cole Phelps. So you just so you just followed, huh, Roy? Just just followed and okay, so something something's the music's still playing, so Oh no no no, what are you doing? They're huh? taking out all the guys from the ship. Okay, so obviously I'm missing. I may, I might have needed to look. I did kind of like gloss over this dude. Did I already look at that arm? Oh, see? Yeah, that one didn't... Okay. 
What I was looking for. Mickey's mating. With Sheldon tonight. <laughs> it's been mid twenties, five ten, dark hair. Okay. Okay, that's what it was. The one that's so messed up. <clears throat> leading all that was the one dude I. I didn't check all the stuff. Ends up being that one. Oh wait, let me see what what's Roy. So Roy, what are you gonna say? What do you think? The post office call and be quick about it. You know the way. You can drive. Fine. Where are we headed? Right, Earl. Give me to the post office. Toot sweet. Boy, this is just a shootout. Oh, they messed up. They messed up your car, Roy. Car, Roy. Shot the windshield out. What are up with these cops just running out from cover? that do that move I've got gotcha. you where's he at is leave that car in front of that hydrant and I'll give you a ticket there you go right in the jugular what we got Roy Oh, he's talking. Tell Courtney. B bad luck. <coughs> it was worth a try. It was worth a try. Bear Ice Company. They really did it. Wonder whether it was worth it. Most people never get the chance to be rich. Wouldn't you risk it? Anything over here? No. Okay, so Okay, so I can't get inside the jacket. See where he's going. Roy, where you going? Nothing. Looks 
Looks like Sheldon is bringing his own fire team with him. All right, Bim. I appreciate you stopping by. Again, thanks for stopping by, ch chatting with me. See you Friday. Have a good one. Have a good night. Juicy, Beckett, Goldrick, Driscoll. These are good guys. Why did they get wrapped up in this thing? Not everyone has your unwavering restraint in the face of temptation, Cole. I'm at a loss. Not really. I we just... need to get the Grauman's before all these guys get whacked. Okay, Grauman's. Gotcha. You're you going to drive. drive. Where are we going? Let's go to uh, the Chinese theater. This isn't looking good. I feel like the fat kid at the back of a race. You sure it's Cohen making the hits? All fingers point his way. Your buddies are in way over their heads. Being a Marine doesn't mean shit out here. Um, he, <laughs> he was just going to keep going forward in reverse. Eventually we get there. Fast travel. Oh. Getting close. Let's go. Steer him off the tar. Oh. Step on it, huh? Just give me a little closer. Hit him. Clear this asshole oh. off the road. I'll try for the tires. Keep your foot down. Getting close and steer him off the tar. Boom. LAPD, put your hands in the air. Oh, my God. What the hell was that? God dang it. I thought, I didn't think we were going to have a shootout. I just thought we were going to go and... Getting close and steer him off the tar. Uh... I can't take the shot from here, Cole. Hit him, Cole. Spin him out. Keep it steady and I'll try to bust his tires. Getting close and steer him off the tar. LAPD, put your hands in the air. Take cover, you lunatic. I, that would have been nice if it would have did like it. Hit it so hard it would have flipped it up, up and around. That would have been pretty cool. Like a decent guy. Thank you. That's a nice thing to say to me. 
considering most of the people here say I'm the first person in my family without a tail or that I stink or something like that. Actually, something nice someone said to me. Thanks. That's that cop. Seems like a decent guy. They look you too. Nice. There you go. Thank you. I mean, you said the exact same thing that guy said. Uh, I, I mean, I don't know. Okay. So. <laughs> you drive. I need to go over the case notes. Fine. Where are we headed? Okay. Hang on. Let me ask first. So what next? We're gonna meet. If we can get them all in the alleyway, we wrap the whole case. So is there a crime? Yeah, there is. Okay. Let's do this real quick. I think that should be getting me close to a um, an inspiration point or like a, a point to leveling. You're behind the wheel. Hopefully. So I can have something. Because I'm, I'm hurting for... Um, Any central unit citizen reports of more in there. I went this whole case without one inspiration. Okay, go ahead. Eleven King, Roger. Four five nine there now. Hey, move along. This is private property, sir. We're with the LAPD. We had a report of a burglary in progress at this address. Oh, no, no, no burglary. <laughs> These guys all work nights here. Maintenance crew. Well, look at that. They got squared up shoulders. No voy a terminar en la cárcel por este idiota. Show me your hands. Oh, he was already, boy. Roy actually hitting for once. Oh, God, I had him. Oh, it's going to be one of those, huh? Oh, shoot. Wake up, Cole. Oh. Oh, damn. Let me get some. Well, they ain't playing. Let me try to get some health back. They're clear. Go. Dang it, I only have one bullet. Hey, where's up there, maybe? Let me make sure I get. They gotta be up top, huh? Oh. Oh! Throw out the guns. What the hell is he? Oh, he's down below. Ooh. <laughs> oh. Eleven K. I've been involved in a shooting and the suspects are down. That's a lot. Code four, but I'll need an ambulance to five thirty nine South Los Angeles Street, Ballard Tobacco Company. Also notify detective headquarters that I'll need the coroner. Eleven K. I'll notify the ambulance, detective headquarters, and the coroner. 
All units 11K reports code 4 on the shooting. Suspect is down at 539 South Los Angeles Street at Ballard Tobacco, code 4. All right. So let's head over to the alleyway, I think. Yeah, see? See, this case is like like the other um, Can you drive involved. To this? All right, where to? Why does it have the Hollywood? Why does it have the PlayStation? Am I missing something right now? Hang on. Am I? Okay, so. Ah, screw it. Let's just go. We'll just... You know the way. You can drive. We'll go to the Do meeting we know place. Where we're going? Oh shit! Holy shit! Find some cover. Holy shit, that scared me. That's oh, a car. Why's getting ripped up? So where? Oh, there he is. Give me some goddamn cover. They're making a run for it after them. I will not get behind something. I will shoot at their arms or their elbows or their wrists or hands. Car 11 King, come in. Car 11 King. 11 K, go to Hollywood Station. A Courtney Sheldon is at Hollywood Station requesting an interview with Detective Cole Phelps. Well, I'll be damned. That's not correct protocol, 11 K. I'll take that as a roger. Car 11 King en route. You can drive. Where are we going? To the, well, we just said it, to the Hollywood police station, buddy. This would kind of be a neat MMO, and then there would be like, it's multiplayer. Roy, room. in my office, if you please. I'm working a major case. I'm that close, Cap. It's gonna have to wait. Let Phelps do the interrogation. But, Cap, no buts. This is more important. I don't mind that you're talking, so long as you don't mind that I'm not listening. <laughs> 
That bum took a swipe at me. I put him down in my sap. He ran the light on Olympic. You're in an interview too, Phelps. There's a quack in there with him. What gives? Beats oh. me. Word came down from Sheldon. Is this your attorney? No, detective. This is Dr. Harlan Fontaine. He came down here to help me out. How do you do, sir? You stole the morphine from the Coolridge. You can't prove that. Let's see if I can try. And what is your relationship to Sheldon, sir? Tudor mentor. Mr. Sheldon is a medical student of mine. He has a very bright future. Oh, that's nice to know. Too bad all of your war buddies won't get to see your graduation. Okay. Loosen up. We got to get ready. Let's go. All right. I would have asked Beckett or Majewski or Driscoll about their involvement, but that's difficult considering they're all dead. That leaves you, Sheldon. You can't blame their deaths on me. Okay, so yeah, I definitely think he, but I think it's going to be more of a. Oh shit! Yeah, la. Tell Courtney bad luck. It was worth a try. Oh shit. Oh, I'm glad I looked at the evidence. You're lying, Courtney. The other guys aren't smart enough to attempt something like this. You either give it up, or I go after Jack for it. And how do you prove that, Cole? <laughs> Jack isn't scared. Wait. And none of us were. We just followed your orders. <laughs> That makes no sense to me right now. I'm at a loss. He said something about the death. That's on me. You're lying. You can't blame their deaths on me. And then the guy confession is Courtney. Oh, I'm at a loss right there. Murdered Marine Walter Beckett. Tell Courtney bad luck. It was worth a try. I'm lost at that one. That makes. To me, that makes no, like, no sense. Shit. I thought that was a, thought that was a slam dunk. I came down here on my own. Yeah, come on. Shut up. And you're walking out. You were on the ship, Sheldon. Yes, that's correct. So you had opportunity. But it doesn't mean that I was involved. Okay, th now it makes me think, okay, that has to be important. He says the name. Yeah, okay, thanks, Pix. That's what I'm thinking, too. It's like, okay, there's got to be a point for that evidence. He says his name and say it was worth a try. And then they do that, right? He looks, like, solid where he's, like, telling the truth. I think they're trying. I'm going to do it. I'm agreeing. Let's do it. So you don't mind. Me and you, Pix, we're going to do it. Driscoll and Beckett to get to you. I don't know why you're trying to pin this on me. Where's your proof? Yep. Beckett had a message for you before he died. Knew it was. Bad luck. It was worth a try. I feel bad about Beckett Phelps. He was a hard charger. Those guys deserve more. I don't blame them for taking their shot. Have you finished, detective? I'm just getting started. 
You have an answer for everything, Courtney. Let's hope Jack does, because now I'm going after him. Is there anyone you're not prepared to sacrifice? Jack is not in this. He's a good guy. You were Jack, Courtney. I don't care who goes to jail. I just want the morphine off the street. What are you offering, Cole? Don't be ridiculous, son. This man is gambling. What's your offer? Doctor, good to see you. I'm conducting an investigation. Upstairs in my office, now. This man is about to confess. As of now, you're suspended from duty, pending a fitness review. What are you talking about? You heard the man, folks. Upstairs and face the music like the hero you wear. You certainly had us fooled, Detective. Phelps, you're one of my favorite sons. You've broken this old man's heart. Sir, what is going on? You're suspended, Phelps. And over your badge and gun. Don't keep him waiting. What is going on here? Your wife's attorney has pictures of you and the German. Compromising pictures, man. She's pressing charges. You'll be formally charged with adultery. A criminal cannot serve as an LAPD officer, as I'm sure you're aware. I don't understand. How could you do it, lad? Your wife, your children, consorting with the enemy and a dope fiend at that. You're lucky the war is over. You'd be taken out and shot. The department doesn't need this kind of publicity, Phelps. Hand over the gun. Keep your head down until your board hearing. I forbid you to make any comments to the press. What the hell were you thinking? I wasn't, sir. My Johnson was. All right, all right, all right. My little buddy was. Sometimes it does that. Marie, listen, Marie, I need to explain. Please leave. You're upsetting the girls. Let me see them, Marie. They're my daughters. Well, I just got here, so I don't know how much I'm upsetting them. Go to her, Cole. You have done enough damage here. Do you want me to call the police? For God's sake, Marie. Can't we at least talk? What is there to talk about? Do you love her? Do you? What were you thinking? What about our children? Can you imagine what this has been like for them? Go away, Cole. My father has hired an attorney and you will be hearing from him. I'd like to explain, Marie. I'd like to tell you what I've been going through. What you've been going through. I have had reporters camped out on the front lawn all morning. I can't stand it, Cole. Oops. Wow, easy. Wow, don't let the anger get the best of you, Cole. Wait, am I going back? What the hell? Why are you going? This is this this game is playing out. This is something that you would see in a movie. This is so movie like and issues and it's so clues i found what fucking clue did i miss that one bugs me questions i and you know, i'm gonna get a couple right or wrong those two were from one person i think i really i i did good on the questionings on this case clues though it bugs me whenever i i don't find a clue Get a marine like Felix to ride on his buddies with a sort of questioning is solid evidence. Yeah, uh, we, uh, that's it. The getting getting the marine getting a marine like Felix to rap. 
That's the question. That's one of the questions I messed up was on Felix. But clues, I never understand it when I miss one because it's like, how did I miss one? I don't think I could continue if I missed one, but whatever. Demoted. Oh, shit. So that. Oh, okay. I was, it didn't make any sense of like, I knew because I forgot. It might have been, I can't remember if it was you, Pixel, or Bim, or someone said you go from, you know, whatever, uh, traffic, homicide, vice, and then arson. And I was like, that, that seems like it's like that. So why would arson be my ending one? Like, so it didn't make sense. Now I know why. Because I got demoted. <laughs> oh, man. You know what? You know what really would have? You know what really would have got me? Honestly, if yeah, I know Roy's ass. What's that? Um, not that I, the clues. Like I said, I don't know what clue I missed. But on the questions, I would started out so strong on that one. I think it was, uh, um, like the first. Three people I uh, talked to, there were two questions each. So I was batting a hundred. Um, so I was like, you know, most cases you question like four, maybe three or four people. So I was like, I might bat a hundred on my questions. You know, I might be. So I was like, I wonder, that'd be awesome if I got perfect clues and perfect questions on this. Not that I was real close, I'm kind of close. But I mean, like, perfect as in perfect game, like 15, 15, 14, 14, and zero, 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 right? Yeah, I know. And and I said to myself, exactly what you don't do when a pitcher's in the dugout and you talk about the perfect hitter or the perfect game or the no hitter. I told myself I'm in the dugout, and I was telling myself, yeah, I started talking about the game, exactly what I did fucked it up and then i end up i think that's true soon after that i think i messed up my questioning or I messed up one of my questions i was like damn it all right maybe, maybe i can still get it maybe i can still get a no hitter then i messed up the question on the thing and then i hit the, the city damage but yeah i'd like to get one where it's like like that where it's like 15 15 14 14 and then zero 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 but i don't know i'm on arson desk now so i don't know how many more there is I know. Uh, wait, you were wa I think you were watching the other night when I was kind of doing the same thing, and then I mentioned it to Bim, I think, and uh, oh, wrong year. <laughs> okay, you're on. You're on the you're on the grammar. Good grammar kick. I like that. Um. And I mentioned it, and I went straight downhill after that. Like, I, I messed it up. It's like, shit. Damn it. Um, so let, let's see where this... Uh, this will probably be my... You know, I'll probably end, uh, end on this, this case, but uh, let's see what, what it cuts to. Because I'm sure it's going to be a, 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 a quite a bit of a cutscene. Or maybe not. Um... I'm questioning the invisibility of what he has. What does he have that's invisible? Okay, everyone, keep it down. 
Cole Phelps joins the arson squad today. <laughs> How'd you like pork in that German whore, Phelps? <laughs> Phelps is up before a review board in December. Until then, he works the arson desk. End of story. Phelps. Yes, sir. I don't care what you did or didn't do, Phelps. I hear you're a good case man. But if you fuck up on my detail, I'll have you out of here before your feet touch the ground. Do we have an understanding? Yes, sir. Cap, we don't want a fucking rat like Phelps. Can it, Tilden? Phelps, I'm partnering you with Herschel Biggs. I don't do partners. You know that, Cap. You do now, Biggs. Social basket cases like you two should get along just fine. Biggs will show you the ropes, Phelps. This is arson. There are no ropes. <laughs> it take long, then. Start with these two. House fires. 326 South Kenmore Avenue. Stefan's family was out of town when it happened. Then go to 4414 Rosewood, family by the name of Sawyer. Fire brigade will be on location. Are they suspicious, Captain? That's for you to find out, Detective. Now get out of here. Both of you. Get out! He ran the light on Olympic, and we finally collared him on Temple. Wait, it's not good. That's all I'm going to say. Oh, you mean... Wait, I'm, I'm lost. I'm not sure what, what it was that I was saying. That's, it's not good. Man, I, I, I'll be honest. I wish they... I know it probably won't happen, because I think Bandy... Uh, they got, they dissolved. I don't think they exist anymore. I think they got, they went with the regular rock star and stuff. But uh, LA, LA Noir 2 would be nice to have. I'd like it, especially with like a, the new Unreal Engine, Unreal 5 Engine. Cool. The, the facial features and the stuff that they could do. Um, yeah, I know, right? The the that Unreal Five engine is ridiculous. It looks beautiful. The whole Matrix. Uh, I don't know if you watch that little clip of the video of the uh, Matrix uh, thing, uh, video game or something that they mocked up or whatever. I don't know. Looks looks beautiful. That would be awesome for this and the facial facial features and all that stuff. That would be. <laughs> It's just, I don't see why they wouldn't, though, right? I mean, it's such a, like, the game, I don't know how well the game did. I'm pretty sure it did pretty good. And then when it went VR, I think it got another kick again. Uh, hey, I there are some nights, man, and some days at work, I cannot type. Like, I'll go to type. Oh man, go to type back, back space back. So, yeah, I mean, uh, sometimes it's just those nights. This keyboard I got, I don't know why in the hell I got it. It's like it's a Razor TKL, it's a short one, and then it's like tournament edition or something, but it's a different uh, way it, it works. So, there's like a little laser. I don't know if I said this before, but there, it's like it's like this, and then there's a laser shooting, or I can't remember. And then when you click it, it'll break the laser or whatever, or let the laser go through or something. So it's real sensitive. It's really for professional uh, professional gamers. Um, so I'm not sure why I got it, because my fat hands and my lazy hands, I'll be just sitting there doing something, and then like the weight of my hand will... And next thing you know, I'm like strafing to the left or turning to the, like, I got to be aware not to rest my uh, hands on my keyboards because it's so sensitive. It'll just, it'll start, it'll start like moving, like, you know, on its own. Um, but all right. Again, Pixel, I, I appreciate you stopping by and, and chatting with me. And chilling out, we had we had a, we had a few people uh, stop by uh, this evening for this one. This one actually wasn't a bad case. I liked it. 
this one is how I was picturing Vice, but I'm already on Arson, so there was only two Vice cases that were like really legit, like I thought really good Vice, like really good cases. Um, or like, I mean, when I say really good, I mean lengthy, you know, where it's like, because the first two Vice cases were really short, it seemed like. These were, like I said, I regret not paying more attention to the case before this. So when I came into this one, I was really, I was like, you know what? I kind of regret the last one not paying as much attention, and I'm going to pay attention to this one, which I'm glad I did because it was really good. I like this case. Um, plus, you can't, I mean, seriously, all the movie elements into it, you go in to see the German uh, singer, you cheat on your wife, you get kicked from the forest and put on the arson. I mean, that's such a movie thing. That's so good. Um, but, um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and end the stream on this case. I'm not going to, of course, I'm not going to start another one because it's, yeah, it's right at a little over two hours. So, uh, yeah, I'd love it again if you stop by, um, uh, Friday and we'll continue, being on the arson desk, I guess. Hopefully, um, don't spoil anything. But does the arson does the arson one seem uh, fun? Um, I mean, not fun, but I mean, I've liked all the cases for the most part. I mean, some are better than others, obviously, but kind of okay. Not as strong as the previous cases. Then I'm assuming. I mean, like the homicide cases. Yeah, the homicide cases was really good. I really liked the homicide cases. And the last two vice cases, I've really liked. Um, and like I said, it's not like I didn't like the other ones. It's just I thought they were kind of short. And, and like the thing was, it seemed like once I started getting going in it, the case was solved. Whereas then the last one and this one, it's like I'm getting into it, and then I'm getting deeper into it, and then I'm getting I'm at now I'm asking questions to this guy. Now I got to go over to this place. It was like a a solid, like seemed like a solid foundation of a case. But yeah, we'll see. Um, um, but again, honestly, I appreciate it, Pixel, stopping by, um, and and chatting with me, relaxing. Uh, I hope you have a good night and I uh, hope to see you Friday. Um, if you're, if you're around, stop by, say hello. Um, see you Friday picks. I, I really do appreciate you stopping by and chilling out with me. Uh, have a good rest of the week and I'll see you Friday or you'll see me and then I'll see Pointless Pixels 313 name in my chat. But that's basically seeing you, right? <laughs> Catch you on the flip side, man. Take it easy. Adios.